will be very happy because they probably had the same question as you had. Speak up with your ideas, tell them psychological safety is a belief that one will not be punished or humiliated when you come up with new ideas or then when you have questions, concerns or mistakes. So, the third case here, inform people about your observations because in some cases it could save lives. Uh, in Modern Agile, this is by uh, Joshua Kurevsky, the Modern Agile framework, maybe you saw it, make safety a prerequisite is one of four cornerstones. The other one is make people awesome, deliver value continuously, and experiment and learn rapidly. And there is a very famous uh, study at Google where they looked at what makes uh, great teams fantastic. Uh, what makes them high performing and it's psychological safety that was the winner other things was also important but that was by far the most important factor for teams who wanted to become high performing and uh, this is a huge factor in team success if we want to become high performing in our teams um, then we need to, to take this into account. Because you come new to a team, you are, feel a little unsecure. Do they accept me? Am I okay with them? Do they trust me? Can I trust them? You know, all these things that happen in the very early stages of team development. Then you move through different stages in group development. And in the end, if you're lucky and you play it right, you can become a high performing team. But that requires psychological safety. Um, when you spend some time talking about private things in the team, instead of thinking that you can optimize work by only thinking about work-related stuff, then team members get closer to one another and tend to produce better stuff together. And it's also, um, you actually produce uh, more oxytocin, which is a hormone that uh, you get when you get close to other people. And, and then um, uh, something that would uh, greatly improve how we relate to each other and the work we do. Because when you start to get to know each other deeper, you start to trust each other. You then also do better work together. Uh, and you start to like each other as well. Have you noticed that when you get to know somebody, you start to like that person. And when you like each other, you work better together. When you work better together, you produce better value to customers. So it's a positive chain here happening. And this is the research by Amy Edmondson, who was the woman who coined this concept, psychological safety. It was not Google, it was actually Amy who did it from Harvard Business School. Um, when you have high levels of motivation and accountability, this slide says, and high levels of psychological safety, we are in the learning zone, we're in the agile zone. Uh, if we have low levels of psychological safety and high levels of motivation, we are very anxious and frustrated. And this is me after six months in a big company trying to change things. I'm very motivated, but I don't feel safe. So then it's time to stop and go somewhere else. And we have the comfort zone, of course. We, are we have very high levels of psychological safety, but we are not so motivated. We just go to work and do our job, and then we go home. And that's what we really live for. Okay, in a psychologically safe workplace, good performance is acknowledged and strengthened by positive feedback. And we can try, and we can fail, we can make mistakes, in the end, we will learn. So, this is the cycle of psychological danger. If we become afraid of making mistakes, then we also blame other people. You know this blame game going on in some organizations. 
we are less likely then also to share different views with each other and we can become victims of um, the common knowledge effect that everybody knows something uh, and we believe it's true just because so many people believe that. Copernicus, for example, was a victim of this in Poland many, many hundred years ago. He said that, hey, I noticed that it's not the sun that circles around the earth, but it's instead the earth circling around the sun. And he went to the scientists in this time and he told them about his discovery. And do you know what they did to him? Anybody knows? Anybody knows what they did to Copernicus? Yes, they, they threw him in jail and later they killed him because he was questioning what was common knowledge. It was the same with, the, with some people still, I think, believe that the earth is flat. It's the same thing. Instead, we want these cycles, psychological safety, 